Hello everyone and welcome to another unboxing. This is Attack on Titan, the final season part one. Um, I actually did not expect to get this this early. Apparently this was releasing on the 22nd. And uh, I got this from Right Stuff. And sometimes Right Stuff sends to, uh, tends to send me stuff early. And that's kind of what happened here. I actually think I, think I got this on the 8th. Um, so, or, or no, I think it was actually the 7th I got this. So yeah, I've, <laughs> I've already got the box set. Um, I was pretty excited for this because I did see that MAPPA was making changes to the Blu-ray version or, you know, the, the Blu-ray for Attack on Titan, the final season. Uh, for the people that got the Japanese Blu-rays, uh, they were showing that there were some, some fairly significant differences between the TV broadcast version and the Blu-ray version, uh, such as changes to facial expressions, uh, colors on certain things like the Thunder Spears, for instance, which I thought was kind of interesting. Um, and just some other various changes that kind of look, most of them look better. Some people say there are some things that actually don't look as good as the TV broadcast version did, but, uh, for the most part it is for the better. Uh, there are, uh, other shows that have done this as well. Like, you know, that is kind of typical for anime to have like different certain changes when it comes to the Blu-ray release, uh, either like changes to like the arts or, you know, ch changes to certain things that they couldn't really improve upon when it was coming out because I guess of uh, uh, time constraints or whatever. Uh, but yeah, this, uh, I was pretty, like, <laughs> I was pretty excited for this. I might actually rewatch this part um, just because I want to see what, uh, how significant some of these changes are. Um, I was kind of, I did kind of start to rewatch Attack on Titan, but I just kind of stopped for some reason. Um, so I might <laughs> just rewatch the final season, uh, part one in particular. Uh, part two is currently airing, and it has been just a <laughs> just one crazy episode after another. With in terms of uh, plot reveals, revelation, you know, certain revelations, and just uh, the way everything looks. Mappa has really like a lot of people were concerned when they you know with part one uh, because of the CG and all that, but I think that Mappa has really improved with uh, part two of the final season. So, anyways, uh, with that all being said, let's get right into it. This is of course the front. Where I think you have like Reiner looking up at uh, Aaron in the um, uh, the Survey Corps. Uh, that's kind of uh, it's kind of a parallel to you know part you know, well not part one but the you know season one where Aaron is looking up at the Colossal Titan about to destroy his home. Where here Reiner is looking up at the Attack Titan about to destroy his home. Uh, so yeah, we got the front and we got the side. And uh, the reason why I haven't opened the plastic yet is because it looks like. Uh, the side where it has all the the art cards and uh, enamel pins are kind of, is kind of like it seems like the plastic is is probably like holding it to the back of the uh, uh, the box set itself I guess uh, but this pretty much shows everything it comes with which is the art cards and uh, I guess these enamel pins with the different titans on them uh, Warhammer Titan uh, the uh, what was it the Jaw Titan and I. I think that might be the Cart Titan, or no, 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 Colossal Titan. That's Armin's Colossal Titan. Um, enamel pins, art cards, and the art book. So kind of similar to what previous limited editions from Funimation have come with. Um, I really do wish they would have included the soundtrack though, because the soundtrack for Attack on Titan is just incredible. Uh, even with this season, I you know without you know Hiroyuki Sawano handling it, I thought it was a pretty good soundtrack. Um, and then we have the other side here. It looks like the discs kind of open up like it's sort of like a booklet thing. So it is packaged a little bit differently than previous uh, limited editions. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, but anyway, let's get right into it. Let's open up the plastic. And yeah, I was right. So this just comes off. Uh, I kind of wish, honestly, that... Funimation would have somehow put some of this, in, you know, into the box itself. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about because they've done this for other limited edition sets they've had where they just have a separate box with all the extras. Uh, Sentai kind of does this sometimes too, but the difference with Sentai is that usually with their box sets, um, the extras box would actually be in the box itself. So with Funimation, they just kind of, you know, they just have it like kind of connected to the limited edition box and just you know it's a separate thing and it just ends up taking much more taking up much, much more space on your shelf 
which is really annoying, especially, you know, with, uh, with me, because I have, uh, there's a lot of, I am definitely running out of space. Um, you know, hopefully I will be moving sometime in the near future. So space won't be as much of a concern, but as it is right now, space is a concern for me. And, uh, these just end up being more of an annoyance than anything, to be quite honest. Uh, so yeah, but anyways, so yeah, we get the five art cards and the three enamel pens, as you saw in the back of the box. So you got these art cards and these are really nice looking art cards, by the way, they're just the, uh, they're made of some like interesting, like reflective material. Uh, by the way, these are also the, um, uh, I think this is the cover for the, um, the Japanese Blu-rays. Uh, so that's where these come from. Uh, so here you got Reiner and, uh, uh, Zeke, um, Porco, uh, Peak, uh, Falco, Gabby, uh, Udo, and I think Sophia is the girl's name. Um, and here you got Aaron and the basically the entire uh, Survey Corps. And uh, here is just kind of the um, the key artwork for the final season part one. And uh, here's some more. I think this is some more key artwork for part one. All of these are made with this really interesting reflective material. Here's some more promotional artwork. I'm not sure which I like the best. Uh, they're all pretty good. Uh, I would say they, they I, I would say this one's probably my favorite. Like I said, just because of the uh, parallels to season one, which of course is uh, intentional. Um, so then we also have these enamel pens. Uh, I'll be quite honest with you guys, I never really use these, because I don't know, it's like, what do I really use them for? Uh, they're nice to look at, I guess. Uh, and I kind of like that the, uh, they have these, like, red, um, like a red fill and these black outlines, that's pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, we have an enamel pin set. So there is that. And then, of course, we have the box set itself, and I guess this is where the art book is included. Automation digital copy, uh, but this is pretty cool how this kind of opens up uh, with the We have the first blu-ray and then we have Where we saw the art on the art cards interesting. Oh wait wait wait. So is the art book just kind of oh So that's what they did. Okay, so the art book is just uh, Huh, so it's just kind of in in here like this uh so you just open this up and then you have the art book kind of within the box itself, which is interesting. Not sure how I feel about that, honestly. Uh, but we have, you know, different character bios. Uh, Aaron, uh, Aaron Yeager, Kruger. Um, yeah, Kruger, Attack Titan, Founding Titan. Uh, Character bios and also just uh, information on the different titans um, each character possesses. Titan shifters. Got, of course, Reiner, Berthold, Annie, Gabby, everyone's favorite character. <laughs> uh, Falco, Udo, Zofia. Without spoiling anything, I'll just say it is kind of a shame that some of these, <laughs> some of those characters don't really last too long. Uh, Porco Galliard, Peak Finger, very interesting name. Uh, she is, of course, the Car Titan. Shocking plot twist, the Car Titan is actually a really attractive woman. <laughs> Who would have guessed, you know, especially based on the whenever, you know, in season three and the Car Titan talked. <laughs> you wouldn't have guessed that. Uh, yeah, there's Colt, Marcel, uh, the Panzer unit. So this is kind of going over the different... So some of the other side characters too that show up in uh, in, fi in the final season because uh, I don't really know how I feel about the short hair. Like her hair was already short, but it just got shorter in, <laughs> in this season. Uh, Armin Arlet, um, of course, he's the Colossal Titan. I'm kind of curious if he ever transforms into the Colossal Titan again because okay, so without spoiling too much, I will say that yeah, he transforms into the Colossal Titan in the, be in the beginning of this season. Uh, and he hasn't really done it again so far and you know throughout the story uh, So I'm kind of wondering if he is gonna do that at any other point in the story uh, uh, I've I will just say I've only read the manga up to a certain point So I really don't know and of course I have spoiled myself as to you know the ending and all that so 
But yeah, other than that, I don't really know if he does transform again. Uh, you know, Levi, Hanji Zoe, John Christian, Connie Springer, Sasha Prouse. Oh boy. Oh, Sasha, why were you done so dirty? <laughs> uh, Kaya, um, female Titan. Uh, some of you might be wondering, what is the female Titan going to show up again? Well, not just yet. Uh, again, not trying to spoil too much, but there are some flashbacks. As you can see, uh, with uh, when them showing Reiner and Annie and they were looking younger, so you know that might explain, you know, that, that basically is what that's about. Uh, Flock Forster, again, everyone's favorite character. Some people actually do like Flock. Um, uh, I am not too fine, I'm not too big of a fan of Flock. Um, Yelena, uh, she's one of the new characters uh, on Yoke, aside with also with uh, on Yoke Pone and Niccolo. Uh, Theo McGath, another new character. Kiyomi Azumabito, another new character as well. Willie Tiber, another new character who I will just say also doesn't last too long. Uh, Historia Race. And uh, it looks like here we have these short little skits. It's kind of like skits you see in the manga. They're, they're all like, you know, chibi characters. Uh, I'm not really going to go through these. Looks like they're kind of skits, sort of, you know. Showing these are actually scenes that show up in the final season, but they're kind of you know here They're more comedic instead of uh, Really serious like how they would be um, and then we have just a spread, you know, just a spread of the key art and again the um, survey core and then We have the DVDs Okay, so it kind of folds out. That's pretty interesting. So we have three Blu-ray discs, um, and it just kind of folds out. Like we got two and three that fold out like that, and then disc one over here. Um, I do not know why they decided to do it this way. This is a very strange way of packaging it. Uh, they have not done this with the previous limited editions, so that's kind of weird. So that was Attack on Titan, the final season part one limited edition. Um, it, like I said, it comes with some you know, things the previous limited editions came with. Um, I do like how it's packaged a little bit differently than the previous limited edition sets, uh, but it pretty much comes with the same stuff that the last, that the uh, previous limited edition seasons did come with. So with this one, I pretty much have all the other limited editions except for season one. Season one, it seems like, uh, it, well, I just didn't jump on the bandwagon for the limited edition uh, season for season one, and it seems like if you didn't, then it's pretty much, well, not impossible to find, but really hard to find uh, the limited edition sets for season one. So I have all the ones for season two through the two and three, and now I have the one for season four, the final season, or at least part one. Uh, part two, of course, has yet to come out on Blu-ray. It's still airing. So yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this set in particular, and until next time, I will see you all later.